What's up guys, Sehaman here. So this is, what you guys are gonna be watching is day two of the Anaheim Convention WonderCon 2018. So yeah, this is Saturday. I went Friday and Saturday. Friday was more so to shop around. Saturday was more kind of to relax and vlog. Um, now this was way busier than Friday. Surprisingly, Friday wasn't busy at all. But uh, Saturday, there were so many people. So throughout this video, I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of footage. There wasn't really a lot to film there, to be honest with you, because if you guys been to one of these and you guys been to Frankenstein's, it's almost like filming Frankenstein's, to be honest with you, um, as at least as far as all the vendors go. Um, I didn't see a lot of crazy cosplay players this year as far as costumes go. Usually, I you know, like at LA Comic Con, I saw some really cool ones and Comic Con itself, but there wasn't really, I mean, there were some good ones, but nothing that really stood out to me. Now, going into the footage here, we're going to about to show you the first booth I shot is from EFX, which is uh, really cool collectibles. Now, you can see they have the Green Ranger helmet right here, which is awesome. Uh, we also got the Black Panther helmet. That looks really cool. And then we got Iron Man, as you can see right there. It's Captain America and some shields. You can see Thor. You got the Ant-Man masks, Loki's helmet right there. So you can see the different shields of Captain America. That's really cool. And then we also have Star-Lord's, you know, blasters and, and his outfit right there, which is awesome. And then we have uh, some Star Wars helmets. We got Boba Fett, a really cool silver Darth Vader and the uh, guards, Imperial guards. Some stormtroopers. Really cool little replica Millennium Falcon. How dope is that? Look at that. You can even see inside the cockpit. That is super nice. That'd be really cool to have you know, as a display piece. And then we also got a TIE fighter, which is pretty cool too. And you can see the, there is a pilot inside and there's a droid right up top, which is BB-8. Uh, the next booth we went to go film at is the Cryptozoic film. I have showed you some of the reviews from their Tiki's, which are pretty awesome. They had some exclusive stuff here. I didn't pick anything up. They had like an exclusive Wonder Woman Tiki's and they had a really cool Batman the Animated Series card game right there. I should have picked that up to be honest with you. But yeah, I didn't pick anything up here, but crypto, I, I do like a lot of their stuff though, especially those, those uh, Joker statues with the little hand statues with the cards. Those are some of the uh, figures that they had. I think all of them were on sale. Really, really cool little figures. And then that gold Wonder Woman was the exclusive that a gold or that blue Chun-Li. Over here is PCS statues collectibles. I was talking to one of the guys that works here. Um, I don't own any PCS statues, but I definitely would love to pick something up. This Shao Kahn is amazing with him sitting on his throne. Uh, the Mortal Kombat stuff is really cool, especially the busts. Even the Street Fighter stuff is really awesome. I didn't get to, to shoot <coughs> excuse me, any of the Judge Dredd statues. I totally forgot. Um, there's another Shao Kahn statue right here of him in a standing pose. That is awesome. Look at the eyes. I believe the eyes light up. And then going into the Power Rangers, we got the Dragon Zord. Right there, and then we have the power. They have the Green Ranger. Now, this Green Ranger, there's going to be three different exclusives for him, which is pretty awesome. And then we have a Green Ranger bust. That looks awesome. Definitely going to pick up the the busts for sure. Love the way they look. And then we got, I got this uh, uh, Mortal Kombat Raiden. That's so freaking sick. Really cool. They always show stuff at WonderCon for the PCS. I remember one year I went. They showed a really awesome reptile. That was just beautiful. Now, the next booth I am going to show is from Foku. I think I'm saying that right. And they make Ikis, kind of like Tikis. Um, I did pick up some of their stuff there. I talked to the sales manager there, and we're going to work something out about sending out some samples. But, uh, yeah, they, apparently they make a lot of sports figures, vinyl figures, just like you see here. So, I mean, these are a lot of the, the – a lot of everything you see there is, is on sale. Um, I did pick one up, so you guys will see it at the end of the video in the haul video. But uh, yeah, I guess they got the licensings for it. You guys saw that in a second. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Kiss, Rugrats, really, really cool. And again, a lot of sports stuff. So you check out, if you check out their Instagram, you guys will see. Uh, this is that Spider-Man's booth right over here. And he's a buddy of mine. He actually works at Frank and Sons. Very, very cool guy. Very cool booth with a lot of awesome comics. He usually has a lot of gems too. This is me going behind the booth, talking to him saying what's up, and then just some of the really cool stuff that he had on display right over here. I've actually picked up a lot of comics from him. 
And again, he is located at Frankincense at the same aisle as Josh. I think he's like two booths down right across. What's up, that Spider-Man booth here. Check us out at that Spider-Man booth Instagram. <laughs> That Spider-Man booth also, he also has a kiosk machine where you put some money in and you can try to win a comic. Now, we tried it too. You guys will see in a second. My girlfriend um, actually tried it, but uh, this is one of the guys in front of us that was trying to win a comic book. So it's a really, really cool machine, a really cool kiosk machine. So he carried this from Frankenstein's all the way to, the, to WonderCon, you know, for a lot of, you know, uh, people to try it out. Uh, there wasn't really a lot of key issues. Sometimes that you see in there, you'll see a Spider-Man 300. You'll see uh, what Gambit's first appearance, I think, I've seen in there. Um, really, really awesome little machine. A great idea, I think, to have. So, super cool. But uh, what you're going to see here in a second, uh, the guy here is actually explaining how to play, you know, how, how to use the machine. He's explaining it to my girlfriend. So, And then the next clip you guys will see is her actually giving it a shot, but uh, I didn't try it out. Next time I go to Frankincense, I'll see if he'll let me use it, and we'll we'll uh, we'll test it out for you guys on camera. So let's go ahead and take a look at her giving it a shot. How dare you? Wait, how, do I, how do I go up? See, you don't know how to play. Press the button and don't let it go until you're ready. Okay. Whenever you're ready, you let it go. And hopefully, it goes into the hole. The guy that won, he got the Xbox. Oh, it's too soon. All right, guys. So we reached the end of the video, and what I'm going to show you guys right now is some of the stuff that I picked up from WonderCon, and also some other items that I picked up from um, you know from the past couple days. Now, I did pick up some stuff for some friends. I picked up some uh, Mezco figures for some really good prices, but let me go ahead and show you some of the stuff that I picked up from Comic-Con, or WonderCon, sorry. So I ended up picking up this really cool art print from the artist. The artist is actually right there, if you can see that. And then he actually signed it right over here. Now it's it's uh, double sided, or not double sided, but it's uh, kind of like a reversible poster. So you got Venom on one side over here which is pretty cool. I like the artwork on that. And then you have Spider-Man, of course, over here. Now, he was selling them three for 20. I got one for my girlfriend. She got one of Pennywise, which is really nice. And we got one for her son, which was uh, kind of like this. One side had an alien, the other one side had a predator at the bottom. So we got that really cool. I don't think there's anything on the back. No. So we got that. I ended up getting this from a seller. Uh, he was selling this for $5. And that is the old... Batman 89 cereal box that came with a really cool Batman bank. Now there's no cereal in here, so he took it all out. He said because of uh, he had some issues with rodents or something. But it's really cool, you know, to have something this, you know, this old, you know, Batman related, especially 89. That was my favorite Batman, so I got that and then the really cool little bank to go with it. I remember going to a uh, thrift store and seeing this, and they were, they were asking 15 for this alone. But we got that. Um, also at WonderCon, I ended up picking up the Wolverine number one for six bucks, which is pretty cool. And I got the Toxin first appearance. Now, I did not pay that price. I got it from that Spider-Man booth. I'm not gonna tell you the price he gave me, but he hooked it up. So I got Toxin's first appearance, Venom and Carnage. I also got the Infinity Gauntlet. I did not pay that price again. I got Sahaman prices, but really cool to have this. I gotta give this a read. Um, I picked this up, I think for $3. I could be wrong. The Batman Returns comic book adaption, which means I think the only one I need now is Batman Forever because I have the Batman and Robin and the first two Batman. So I got that. Um, this I picked up at Frankenstein's actually. And this is the Bride of Venom. I got this one for a really good price. This is awesome. So I got the Bride of Venom right over here. Um, and then I completed my collection. Or not completed. I'm almost done with my collection of the Marvel Comics Presents Wolverine and Venom. It's like a double-sided comic. It's like two stories in one. Uh, so we got this one I've already had, but I ended up picking up uh, 118. 119, 120, 121, uh, so which means I only need to think one more issue. And there were only like four or five, no, maybe like six pages of uh, the comic because it's like it's like two comics in one. So we got that. Um, I also got the uh, Tales from the Crypt from EEC Comics. Now the reason why I picked up this one is because I had this as a kid. This is actually a reprint, so I got this one right here. Really cool to have, again, because I used to have the original one. Uh, I ended up picking up Spider-Man right here, number 13, the McFarlane cover, which is dope. Finally got Web of Spider-Man, number 95, 
for the Spirits of Venom Part 1. I think I only need one more to go to complete this series. And then I got the first appearance of the Armored Spider, Spider Armor. And uh, I think I already showed this off, the X-Men look lookbook. Pretty sure I showed that off already. So that's some of the stuff there, uh, um, out, not WonderCon. Now going back to the WonderCon stuff, I got this right here from Ikki's Nickelodeon. I got the WonderCon exclusive black and white Leonardo. Really cool. Now I talked to the um, the, the, uh, the company about getting some samples sent to me, so I'm gonna contact them. Uh, but this is really cool. I think he said there was only a thousand made. I could be wrong. But uh, he, the artist actually was there and he signed this for me. So these, these are really, really cool. Now, you guys saw in the footage, they make a lot of, uh, uh, you know, the Nickelodeon, SpongeBob, uh, they had Rugrats, Turtles, of course, some Batman stuff. And then you guys saw they were gonna make Pennywise, which is really cool. And then he, he told me some other horror ones, but I forgot what he, which one he mentioned. Um, so we got that there. Also, here's some of the cards right here for the company, so pretty cool. Um, so I ended up picking up some pops. Now, these I opened up, I took them out of the box. So you got, I got the uh, Karate Kid pop right over here. Now this is really cool because, you know, since the Cobra Kai trailer came out, these are gonna be harder to get. These are gonna be more sought after. So I managed to pick up uh, Ralph Macho's character right here, which is awesome. So I got that, um, I got SpongeBob, and the seller that was selling SpongeBob had a bunch of them. Um, so I managed to pick up SpongeBob because I believe it or not, I actually really love the cartoon SpongeBob SquarePants. It's really cool. So happy to have this in my collection. And then I got the Creature of the Black Lagoon also, which is really, really nice. So I'm gonna be taking photos of all these. And uh, what else do we got? Here's the Venom, <coughs> excuse me guys, that I picked up from uh, Frankincense. I, I mentioned it on my live stream. So again, I guess it got re-released, got it for 20 bucks. So pretty cool. All those accessories are right there. Now, lastly is two items I am gonna show you, which I am happy I picked up. One of them I got from Josh, hashtag everybody needs a Josh. The other one I actually got from WonderCon and for a steal. So ready? Ready to reveal it? If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys probably already saw it. Bam. I got the DC Collectibles Batman bust. I don't own any Batman busts and this is really, really cool to have this. So this is just beautiful. The, the fabric on the on the actual clothing right here is really nice. Um, I'll do a, a review on him. So I got him and then Josh hooked it up with the Sideshow Collectibles Rancor. Now I don't own a lot of, I'm probably not even gonna pick that up. I'll do some videos on it. I don't own any really like Star Wars statues. But this is something I really wanted because I've always liked Return of the Jedi. And as a kid, this was something that always stood out to me, whether the scene, I love the Rancor, but um, comes with the actual chain right here. Now, they made a limited number of these. So I think I got, let's see, it says it on the box. I have the box downstairs. This one doesn't have, actually have the number numbering on it, I don't think. But um, I actually got the boxes for both of them. This one I got, the Batman statue I got for such a steal. It has a little bit of paint issue right over here, but I'm gonna see if a buddy of mine can touch that up. But this is beautiful. I mean, a Batman bus is a, is a must. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is my haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed you know, the, the whole WonderCon footage. I didn't film a lot in there, but I filmed what I could. So yeah, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't. I'm gonna be doing uh, a video on my cards because as you can see, the card collection is getting big. The comic card collection is getting big. My camera is not focusing. I'm filming with my DSLR camera, but all right, guys, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. What do you guys think about the haul? What was one thing that stood out for you? We'll see you guys soon.